My name is Gina, and I'm going to tell you about my big-eared, sassy rescue squirrel today. I've always been surrounded by animals, but by that I mean like dogs, not wildlife for sure. <laughs> I was letting my dogs out in the backyard like I do every morning before I go to work. I saw something on the ground, and I thought it was a mouse. It was so tiny. And I've never seen a baby squirrel before, so I didn't know that they didn't have like bushy tails when they're babies. At that point, I didn't know if she was even alive. She was just curled up on the ground. Her little arms were moving and I could see her breathing. And I was I was so relieved, but then I was, what am, what am I going to do? What do I do with her now? <laughs> the first thing that I did was I put her in a little box with a blanket just to see if her mom would come back for her. I also heard that if you play baby squirrel crying noises, then their mom might come back. She never she never did, and I, I couldn't leave her out for, for any longer because it was just too warm. I got her Pedialyte and a little syringe to feed it to her. The first few days were so scary because she was just so, so dehydrated so sickly like barely moving it took her a long time probably two or three days before i i finally like kind of breathed a sigh of relief like maybe she might be okay she started eating her formula normally a week later she opened her eyes and i was the first thing that she saw it, it, i'm like her mom <laughs> now basically <laughs> the first few weeks it was as difficult as having a newborn baby, almost. I would be setting an alarm and getting up two or three times in the middle of the night to feed her her formula, always checking in on her. I had a little pouch that I wore around my neck that I bought online so, so that I could always keep her with me. I named Fern after one of my favorite books when I was a kid. The girl in Charlotte's Web, her name was Fern and she's the one who wanted to rescue the pig and now she is a year and a half old so she's been with me for a while fern has a room that's just hers it's also my office because i work from home she has a double decker cage for when she's sleeping because she she can't i don't trust her to be out by herself you know she's out all day with me while i'm working and then a couple of hours at night she has the whole room. We have three cat towers in here. She has uh, toys to play with. All I'm, I'm in the room now. It's like <laughs> it's like a squirrel jungle in here. When when people find out that you have a pet squirrel, first it's like an, are you serious? Are you kidding me? And then when they realize that you're not kidding, and when you show when you show pictures of her, then they're like, oh my god, that's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Fern is the goofiest little sassy pants that you could even imagine. I I never realized that squirrels have such personalities because I've always been around dogs and I know that dogs have have personalities, and I I've just always seen squirrels outside. She is just as smart and just as crazy as a dog. She is so funny. She gets into trouble and she she knows when she's doing something that she's not supposed to be doing, just, just, just like a dog does. She eats a lot of healthy stuff. I have heard horror stories about squirrels who won't eat any of their healthy food and only want to eat like fruits and nuts and stuff. A squirrel is definitely not a pet. <laughs> She is so much responsibility. It's not the type of thing where, you know, I'm sure everybody sees how cute she is and they'll be like, oh, I want one too. She is, she is a full-time job. She's totally worth it. I, I would do absolutely anything for her. Aside from just the responsibility of, you know, making sure she gets enough time out of, out of her cage, she gets lots of exercise, you know, making sure she has all the right foods to eat. Her nickname is Squirn because a couple of times when she was a baby, I tried to say squirrel and fern at the same time and it came out of squirn and it just kind of fit and stuck. She is the highlight of my day. She really is. She, even if I'm having the worst day ever, I just have to look at her and she always makes it better. She makes me laugh. She makes me smile. And I, 
I hope that I'm giving something back to her like she's giving back to me. Thank you for listening to me and Fern's story. If you'd like to fo follow us on social media, the links are down below.